KJ Bandy played a poor game against North Carolina. That's there's just no two ways two ways about it. So yeah, he played a great um, game against Florida. Yeah, I mean he played a really strong game. Uh, you know I think he was one of our three stars from the Florida game. Uh, just was all over the place in a good way and everything against North Carolina. That same Trajan Bandy didn't show up unfortunately, uh, and that had a negative effect for Miami's defense. Uh, obviously the touchdown, um, you know, was on him. Uh, the, the first touchdown of the game on that double move, missed a couple tackles. Obviously, whatever you want to call that coverage on fourth and 17, bracketed, missed coverage. If somebody was supposed to be a man-to-man, whatever it was, he was right there at the point of, of the play, um, and that's not not good. Um, so, yeah, um, I think that he would tell you that he expects to play a better game. I think that even coming off of the first game of the year, he would uh, say that uh, his demonstrated performance is to be better than that. Uh, and uh, even if you go back to last year, but yeah, Trajan Bandy did uh, struggle last week. Uh, he wasn't the only one. But uh, yeah, since uh, you asked about that directly, dead period, live period, contact period, whatever. I mean, these guys, these these coaches are recruiting. These players are being recruited uh, all the time. Um, Andrew Ivins from 247, he wrote a piece saying that two guys who other schools are very strongly pursuing, well, three guys who other schools are very strongly pursuing are Jaden Francois, safety commit from South Dade. Um, he has openly said that he is interested in Ohio State while he is 100% committed to Miami. Um, so he plans to take a visit there. Um, and that, or other teams, you know, if, if losing continues, then, you know, all bets are off. So we'll see. Um, but he's been linked with OSU throughout this process, uh, even when he committed to Miami. So I expect that to be a fight um, for a while. Romello Hyde, excuse me. Uh, from Dublin, Georgia, four-star defensive end. Um, teams are going to come at him, uh, especially because he's starting off his football season in a strong way. Additionally, um, even though he maintains the fact that he is firmly committed to Miami, the University of Georgia just likes collecting running backs, so they even sent a, uh, a, an assistant to a couple of Donald Cheney Jr.'s games already. So they can have – I mean, I don't know. They just they collect five-star running backs up there. I mean, just like people collect stamps. It's crazy. Uh, they already have two. They have like, the, you know, uh, yeah, two or three. And that's off of two or three each of the last couple of years. Like they just, they have so many five stars, uh, highly touted four stars, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I guarantee you this, if Don Chaney were to flip to Georgia, he would be back to be a five-star ranked player. Bet that, put the, I mean, hey, take the the 401k, take your mortgage, put it on, put it on red on that one. I'm telling you, if he... I mean, I'm not wishing it, and I hope that it does not happen. But if he were to flip to Georgia, I guarantee you today, September the 11th, 2019, 8.31 p.m., I guarantee if he flipped to Georgia, Donald Cheney Jr. would be a five-star. Bet it. <laughs>